is more than one bat, like a whole team of them. And that's why no matter what happens to him, he's always ready for more. Because there's actually more than one. Hmm. There's something hidden here. It looks like a page from a journal. Sir, it appears you've stumbled onto a lead in Gotham's longest-running cold case. Cyrus Pinckney. Indeed. He was instrumental in the city's rise to power and prestige. Worked closely with your ancestor, Solomon Wayne, as well. Alas, he was murdered on the eve of his 40th birthday. The killer was never found. Interesting. I recognize you're preoccupied this evening, but should the opportunity present itself, solving Gotham's oldest crime would make for... Mm, Quite the feather in your cap. January the 14th, 1855. My God, it worked! <laughs> 
Amadeus truly is a genius. Oh, you've come this far, dear reader. Allow me to explain. I learned Cobblepot intended to poison me, and so we endeavored to replace his tainted wine with one of our own creation, as expected. I choked, I sputtered, and then, ah, I passed. But it was not poison I consumed, rather something made by Amadeus. His concoction enabled me to enter a soporific state so profound that even to the keenest of physicians, I appeared a corpse. <laughs> Yet here I am, resurrected. And now I will have my revenge. Henry Cobblepot will pay for what he's done. An interesting turn. In trying to solve one murder, you've discovered the origins of another. Henry Cobblepot. Yes. City records say it was an automobile accident that killed him not long after Cyrus's supposed passing. But now we know the truth. He was murdered by the man he thought he killed. What about Pinckney? It appears that's a mystery that must endure a while longer. <laughs>